everyone, Artie Tamberemba, also known as Tammy Klinger, with you today. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to create that cute little birdie page in uh, in my perfect size journal. So as I said, I used my perfect size journal and then I used to, um, some blues including Mermaid, Sky, um, Heaven I think it's called and lace paint i do add a couple of browns into the mix so they're listed in the below in all the products um, in the comments and then i've also used the new water transfer paper the new scrap paper the new washi paper and the new die cut paper frames uh, and and a metal die in there as well so as i said they're all listed but i'm just going through and grabbing a page out of my perfect size journal to get started and I absolutely love 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 the new line so oh, that washi is amazing um, all of it is amazing in the colors the the artiness of it I just love it there's so much I want to play with so this is actually my first play with um, with her new line so, um, well, I have played, but this is my first video where I've created a video for you. So I've started off how I start most of my backgrounds. Um, I found, I knew I wanted to do some sort of sky theme. So I wanted a bluish background for the sky. And um, so I went through just some old paper of Marlene's from previous lines. And I had this big, large sheet of blue. And so I tore some of that up and adhere it to the bottom left corner and like I like to do I just kind of filled in the gaps with the different paints um, so I'm using the heaven the sky and the mermaid and I do a few flicks and just trying to create that sort of messy look so it's just not flat so there's a bit of interest in there and as I said Marlene always um, starts me off so I just go with what she's already created then I grab out of this new scrap paper pack and um, this one caught my eye and the leaves. I'm cutting out the leaves because I've decided that I'm going to use the cute little um, birdie that's in the water transfer paper. And I'm mainly using that because I haven't used the transfer paper yet and so I wanted to see how it works. So here I've just roughly cut out that little birdie. Then there is a little bit of plastic on the top so you just take that off. Now you could have, I could have put this birdie straight onto the background, um, but given that there's blue in the background, he'd lose some of his bright vibrancy. So I decided to put him onto white cardstock. So I just popped him upside down and then just brushed some water over the back of him and peeled it up gently, just making sure that all of him transferred and that that's about it so I've cut him out roughly just so I can work out where my tree is going to be and where my branch and then um, I'm gathering a few this is um, the new die cut uh, and I think it's called floral fun and there's a gorgeous leafy die in there so I cut sort of a few bits and pieces out of some green paper from one of Marlene's previous collage packs um, so now I'm painting in a branch and for those of you who know me know I don't do brown <laughs> but trees are brown so I used um, Mud Fight of Marlene's and it's actually a beautiful brown um, it's got a really warm richness to it so it's actually pretty good as far as um, browns go so that's called Mud Fight and I paired it with a little bit of tobacco as well and just kind of um, roughly did some brush marks to just look a bit more natural and more like bark okay so now i um the birdie's completely dry so i trim him out and he looks very cute on there and then i just start placing those large leaves um around the place shuffling working out where i want them and the smaller leaves i'll probably tend to put more towards the left hand side so it just shows that branch going outwards um yeah so some of them i cut down just to make them fit and some of them i leave just like they are now 
Now I've grabbed the new washi tape and this one is the colourful one. So it's got an aquary um, roll on in it and a pink one as well. And I'd already used the pink on my project, so I thought I'd go with the aqua. And when I looked at them, I thought, hmm, I think they make really cute little clouds because of the scallop shape that they already have. So I, that's what I went with. I, and I think the colours match perfectly with the bird. Um, and don't they look cute? So I will outline them in black just to make them stand out a little bit more. But I've just sort of popped a couple of clusters on there just to look like clouds. Um, I really love the little rainbow shapes and the little patterns in them. So then I've gone back to that paper that I was using um, and there's that gorgeous black and white sort of print in there. There's the stripes and there's some dashes and I love black and white. Um, just a pop of it through my page. I think it sort of helps calm all the colour down. And So I'm cutting a few of those into little leafy shapes uh, so I can poke them in amongst my... Um, tree leaves and and in amongst the branches so now I um, also have grabbed out the die cut paper frame book and there's a quote in there that is perfect for this page because he's one little birdie on the branch by himself um, so yeah I, I grabbed that one out I was a little bit worried it was going to be a bit too big but it actually looks really good um, so I'm very the reason I've popped it out now and then put it to the side is I just sort of needed to roughly work out where I was going to place all my bits and pieces. So I know that's going to go on the left hand side. So I decided I could build up my right hand side a bit more and I added an extra little branch in. So now I'm using um, a mask called Vibrant Flowers and I'm just... I love the little floral shapes in there. So I've gone with um, some oxide ink. and Sorry, I'm not managing to find my words today. Uh, so some Distress Oxide. And I'm using the um, deep blue. And I'm just popping a few, sort of sponging it through the stencil just to put a bit more interest into the background. Um, so, I mean, they, they do look like flowers, but they could be anything really. Um, yeah, so now I'm just using a black paint pen to go around my clouds and around my branch. And again, I'm working out where I want them. <laughs> I could shuffle and shuffle forever. And I do sort of get eventually get to a place where I'm like, oh, just stick it down. So I do that in a minute. So now I'm gluing them on using the sticky glue, um, which is fantastic glue. For those of you who use it, I know you sort of tend to stop using all, all your other glues because this one's all you need. So some of them I'm sticking all the way down and some of them I'm not sticking the very tip down. I'm letting it sit up a little bit just to give a little bit of dimension here and there. And then I start to stick those little fronds on. So I'll just go quiet while um while this happens. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of music that I added <laughs> just so you didn't have complete silence to watch that bit so I've um, decided to start sticking everything down so I stuck the little birdie down and I also um, added in his little legs um, onto the branch so I didn't include those earlier just because I I wasn't exactly sure where I wanted to put him so 
um, I've drawn them in by hand and now I'm just cutting that quote down so that I can fit it properly on my page and just sticking a few of the last bits and pieces on. So now I trim off the parts that are hanging over the page. Um, yeah, and then I think I'll come in with a black paint pen and I start to outline all around the leaves just to give a little bit more detail. Well, first of all, I decided I needed a few more of those um, little flowers that I got from the mask. So here I am at just adding some details. You could add doodling, you could do all sorts to this bit. I'm just simply going around the leaves and a little bit around the branch and then I will also go around the quote um, and I try and make the marks fairly loose so I do sometimes two or three around each thing just so it, it doesn't look like you've perfectly gone around the edge it looks a bit more arty and a bit more quirky. So now I'm just adding a few little highlight like definition to the bird um, and the branch here and there and that is is pretty much all the detail in the pages. So now I use that blue um, and go around the edge and that just helps sort of give a little bit of a shadow around the border and then I decide to also come in with black as well around that edge just to frame it as frame it a little bit more so that's pretty much it from me today um, thanks for joining me for my first play with the new signature series so it is available now from stores and it is amazing go and get yourself some because it is a wonderful range I'll be back again soon with another page but I'll just leave you with a few close-ups and as you know I absolutely love to hear from you and um, love knowing that you stop by. I always wonder who watches the videos. So leave me a little message. Thanks guys. Bye for now.